Hey guys and welcome back to Living with Pixels. In this video we're gonna practice our Adobe XD skills. Uh, I created this website as part of my Adobe XD mastery course which will show you step by step how to use Adobe XD to design websites and this is one of the designs that I show in this course. It's a little bit more complicated so this video is not for complete beginners. So if you are a complete beginner and you want to learn Adobe XD uh, there's a discount in the description for the course and there's also a basics video about about, uh, Adobe XD in the description. So now let's just get started. Uh, for this design file I have a few different backgrounds as you can see. Uh, so this is the main background and what's nice about Adobe XD is that you can really easily change up the background. So for example just drag it in and boom you have a completely different vibe. Drag it in boom and uh, for example something like this so i'm going to show you how to do this and i've prepared uh, all the files for this video in a folder uh, so if you also want to design this uh, with me you can download all the files that are that i use in this video and then you need to open the practice file bookstore uh, i've also included this final design so you you can take a look at my design uh, but we also have this practice file uh, which just has the colors inside of it a text layer and uh, another title this font by the way is not a font that is probably installed on your computer but you can find that within the font folder so first install this font before you open the adobe xd file so let's just start with the design the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add all of those colors to the asset column over here uh, so i'm going to click on assets and i'm going to add all the colors so i can easily click them over here and maybe change them later i'm also going to add this title over here and the normal body text so i'm going to click on character styles and now i have those two in the assets now we're going to change the background to um, this color over here so i'm just going to pick the eye drop and boom we have a background and now we're going to work with our image so let's just grab one of those backgrounds uh, i like this background a lot so i'm going to just drag it onto the canvas it's way too big so i'm going to scale it down something like this and I'm going to put that on 45% opacity. That looks good. And now I'm going to lock that layer with Command L so I cannot move it. Uh, so the first thing that I did was create the menu on top. So let's just go back to our final design. And the menu on top is just two straight lines. So I'm going to grab the line tool. I'm going to drag a straight line and make it the color that we can see over here. Boom, and now we're gonna align it to the top, uh, somewhere around here. And now I'm gonna make a duplicate and I'm gonna turn it uh, 90 degrees. I'm gonna place it right here. All right, let's import the logos and the menu items. So for now, I'm gonna just drag in the search icon and boom, there is our very small search icon. I'm gonna paste that one over here. I'm gonna also import our logo which is just a little baby book this one is black so I'm gonna make it white I'm gonna put it in the corner over here uh, now we're gonna create our menu so you know what I'm just gonna grab this title I'm gonna make it duplicate by holding alt gonna make it white and then just make a few menu items make them a lot smaller that looks pretty cool and now I'm just gonna create a few menu items Okay, I'm going to align them properly. So I'm going to grab all of them and then click on this tool. Boom. Now I'm going to make a little line under here to make that an active one and also make that a white color. Something like this. That looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to group this menu so I can put it easily inside of the middle of our canvas. In my final design, I've used capital text, so I'm going to change that pretty quick. I'm going to select all the text and then click here over on capitals. So you don't have to retype it. Uh, Adobe XD has a pretty nice tool for this. Also, I think this one is a little bit smaller, something like this. Align it properly because now the size is, of course, changed. And I'm going to group it again and I'm going to align it to the middle. You know what? I want this thing to be aligned at uh, the top of this carpet. That looks a little bit nicer. I'm going to lock it again. 
And now let's create uh, this part over here. There's also a little mask trick that you can see over here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, for now, we're just gonna grab our title like this. I'm gonna make a copy again. I'm gonna make it white. I do this by clicking I and then I can color drop uh, the color over here. Make this one a text box so I can easily resize it like this. Never use breaks, by the way, in your text. Just use the uh, text box tool. Also, I'm going to grab the main body text and also make that a white text with the eye. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to create the big two that you can see over here. And how I did that was just with a big title. So I grabbed the title. I made it, I think, something like this gray. Oh, I'm sorry. The gray is not part of the color palette. So let's just add that real quick to the color palette so you will also have that color uh, and now we're gonna make this one really big something like 100 for example and then just uh, create a number and now we're gonna create a mask a mask is pretty easy in adobe xd luckily so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a rectangle and just create a rectangle the text uh, will be masked within this box so that means that it will be perfectly aligned to this one so i'm gonna grab both of them command shift m and boom now we have our texts that's, that looks pretty cool. Now I've also used opacity on the text, uh, something like 25, to make it more fade into the background, uh, like you can see over here. Now for the button, uh, what did I do? It's a pretty simple button. It has rounded corners and it has a little arrow that I designed in Adobe XD. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, the shop now is 10 pixels in um, uh, font size. So let's just create that button real quick. I'm going to grab the rectangle and just create a button like this. Uh, I'm going to grab our title, make a copy of it, uh, make the text white. Make that really small, something like 10, and then click on our box, delete the border, make it this color. Change the text to shop now, uh, make it in capitals. And as you can see in my design, I've also used spacing inside of this text. So what I did is I clicked on this one and then I increased the spacing that you can see over here to a bigger number. I don't even know what number I used. Oh, I used even 200. So that's a lot of spacing. Now we need some room for the arrow. Extend it like this. Make this one rounded corners. You can just grab the corners over here or you can type in a number over here. Pretty easy. And now we're going to create the arrow. So I'm going to lock this one for now so I cannot move it. I'm going to grab the line tool, create a line perfectly in the middle, make it white. And then uh, Adobe XD has this new tool, it's called the Polygon. Super nice because before you couldn't really easily make a, a triangle. So now we can just easily create a triangle, rotate it. Maybe make it even a little bit smaller, something like this. Uh, group it for now, uh, make it a little bit bigger, and now I can align it, align it perfectly in the middle. And as you can see right now, this button looks pretty cool. I think I made it a little bit thicker in the final design, something like this. Make sure it's rounded. And now we have a pretty cool button um, that if I group it, I could just grab it and even duplicate it if I want. All right, that looks pretty decent already. So I want to move all of them. So I'm going to grab all of those, group it, and then I can move it a little bit to the top. So we have some room over here at the bottom to create this section, with ha which has this super nice faded out uh, Gaussian blur effect. It's actually pretty easy to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our rectangle over here and make sure we are aligned correctly. And I'm just going to create a big rectangle over here. Make sure the border is off. And now, as you can see in the design, it only has rounded corners on the top over here. So you can easily do this by just extending. Uh, but sometimes you're not working at the bottom of your artboard, of course. Um, so what you then need to do is create it over here. So if you click over here, you can um, round the individual corners. So this is the left top one. Increase it until you like the result that you're seeing. Something like 40, that looks good. And I'm also gonna do that on this side boom and now here's the trick for the uh, faded out background uh, it's called background blur if you do that 
it's gonna create this super nice background blur and that's, uh, that's actually all I did I just played a little bit with the settings I think over here made it a little bit darker maybe but this looks already super super nice so now I'm gonna drag in the books so I'm gonna click on the books grab all of them boom import them into Adobe XD align them something like this make sure you have some room for the text and now we need to create the titles uh, the titles over here as you can see are just 14 and then semi bold and 13 medium so i'm going to use this text box over here so i'm going to come and click i'm going to copy it click outside of the group paste it again and then i can create a new text box over here uh, the line height is a little bit less something like 18 okay so this is the offer name last name and this is actually the title of the book boom i'm gonna put that on bold well actually i'm gonna put it on semi bold and for the sake of this tutorial i'm not gonna put in all the text i'm just gonna copy it like this to all the other books and boom and now we are done with this down section looks really good uh, what i've also done is use the same effect to create some balance in the corner as you can see over here uh, and this makes the search icon pop out a little bit more so i'm gonna also do that for this part you know what i'm just gonna grab this one make a copy and then delete all the borders and just uh, make it zero again resize it bring it to the background so our icon and the lines will be on top of it so I'm just pressing comment and then uh, the left bracket. Yes, and now it's way too light. So what I did is I just brought down the opacity as you can see over here. I played a little bit with these settings. And now this looks different than the original. But this is of course related to the background. So if we're going to change the background, uh, of course this is also going to change. Let's just test switching the backgrounds for now. So I'm going to unlink it again gonna go to the backgrounds and just drag in another background boom like this and now one of the last things that we need to do is just import these icons uh, these are the official icons that i've also included in this design file uh, of course it's in the social icons folder and there are even some more icons if you want to use uh, different icons so i'm gonna go back to my file i'm gonna go to the side over here and i'm just gonna grab four icons Drag them outside of it, not on top of your image. Otherwise, it will replace the image. So now those icons are really big and some of them are really small. So I'm going to resize them. And these icons, by the way, are completely vector. So you can scale them up and zoom in and they will still be sharp. All right, give them another color, uh, white and put them beneath each other. I'm gonna uh, use the align tools for now, align them with this to the middle and then the space between. For now, I'm gonna make them a lot smaller because that looks a lot nicer and also give them spacing in between. Boom, like this, and then put them inside of your artboard. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna give them way more spacing. Uh, my background is not locked, uh, so let's just do that quickly and just kind of give them a lot more spacing. To make it look more luxurious group them again and align them somewhere in the middle all right guys we are almost done with this design it looks pretty cool already and now the last thing i created this kind of sliding indicator uh, and the idea was that if a new uh, slide will come up then the number will change over here um, and um, this one will go to the next slide and this is kind of like the timer that was the idea this is very hard to build i think in a real website but it looks just really nice so let's just copy that for now to have some reference. I'm going to put it on the side over here. Uh, so what I did is I just grabbed the uh, rectangle tool over here. And I created a few spheres. Something like this. Uncheck the border. Make them smaller. Just make a few duplicates like this. Also make a top duplicate. And then for the upper one... I've also used the rectangle. I just made a big rectangle and I unchecked the fill. So I only have the outline. I use white. Okay, make sure you can align it in the middle. And now I've made a duplicate of this one. I've made that a darker color. Uh, so maybe for example, 
this color or even this gray color and we only need to do a see a, a small part of that um, upper circle so i just grabbed a rectangle like this and i just used that rectangle as the mask so now i'm gonna grab those both top layers i'm gonna mask them so now i only have this part and now if i place that on top of each other you can see that we have created this design i've put this one on maybe 50 percent opacity just group them for now delete the reference align that one on the logo so as you can see, we almost have the same design as we started with. I'm really happy with the result. And if you want me to create more tutorials on Adobe XD, uh, maybe a different website, maybe a more realistic website, then please let me know down in the comments. And for now, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.